What's up guys, back with yet another box opening, and it's been a while on the Yu-Gi-Oh, but I had to make a video of this set. Uh, ended up finding it a bit early here at Walmart. Um, I don't know if it was just my one Walmart that uh, put it out by mistake, but my friend checked a few other ones and he could not find them, so... Um, the weird thing was, this Walmart's card out was a bit different. It was in the game section, and when I went, there was about 500 Pokemon packs. And I was like, what the heck, where's the Yu-Gi-Oh? There's five Age of Overlord, and then there was this, this in the bottom shelf in the corner, so... They had 10 boxes. I nabbed them all. My friend got six. I got four. Um, I did open the other three because I couldn't help myself, but I did save one for video. So let's just get right into it. And uh, real quick, this is a mini box. So it's five cards per pack. Uh, and Yeah, and then five packs per box. So I think it's like Magnificent Mavens, right? Where it was four packs in sleeves, except this is just straight five packs. And this was uh, $24.97 at Walmart. So retail is probably $24.99, extra two cents. Uh, after tax, it was about $27.05. So, hey, let's just get right onto it. I made a little opening somewhere because these were very hard to open on plastic. It's very, very tough to get into. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Take a look inside. Very easy to get. So, I would assume these will not come in single uh, blisters just by themselves at normal stores like Target um, or just Walmart. So, I'm guessing this might be the only way to get them. And, uh... Oh, there was one more pack I was going to say. Did I get four? But no, it was stuck in there. Okay, so five packs. Oh, got a little scared there for a second. So let's go ahead and see what we get. I know the big hits in here are the Quarter Century Ash, um, Imperm, and Prosperity Effect Failure, and a few other cards. Uh, unfortunately, I think the English print packs, there's a Super, the Secret, the two Ultras, and the Super. So I like to put the Super in the front. So we got a little Super Lancia, Angel of Mischief, uh, Secret Rare Raw Sphere Mode, Downer Magician Ultra, and a Ghostbound Haunted Mansion. So we did not hit any luxury uh, rare cards in here. So let's see if we can try again. So far, every box we opened uh, had at least one quarter century secret. So uh, was that upside down? There's an upside down card in here. So it's more than likely a luxury card. That happened to my... I pulled a collector's tour guide. So maybe that's one hint. Ice Dragon's Prison. Dark Ruler No More. Angel of Mischief Secret Rare, Lightning Storm, and it is a Collector's Rare, uh, Selene Queen of the Master Magicians. Okay, so sometimes the Upside Down cards just means you got a Collector's Rare. Uh, that's happened twice to me already. Uh, but wow, look at that. Amazing. <laughs> Did anyone else watch that at Exodia FDK? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we got one Luxury Rare card. I believe that is the unimport rarity because our ultimate, uh, sorry, collector's rares don't have that little, those little sparkle dots on the cards, I believe. All right. You got Border, Jackalope, Win the Wind Charmer. Not a fan of this in here. It's one of the more meh cards, I'd say. Dimension Shifter. Very nice. And Extravagance Ultra Rare. Not a luxury rare, but it is still a very good card. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Wind the Wind Charmer. Super rare. Oh, we, I see something. That's what sucks about these. You kind of get spoiled a little bit, but it is a quarter century. Oh, please. What are the stats? 3,000. Uh, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon? No. Oh, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon and quarter century secret rare. So, so far, every box, every mini box has a quarter century. Not a guarantee. Uh, for not, not that I know of so far, but every box we open had one. So, let's see what else we get. Striker Dragon Ultra, and a Ultra Lone Fire Blossom. Okay, okay. One quarter century rare and a collector's rare. So let's see what we can end on. Last pack. Galaxy R's Full Armor. Compulse. Mood Dragon Secret Rare, nice. Oh, I see something on the final card. Time Thief 3 Redoer. Oh, it's a spell. Please be Prosperity or Droplet or Talents. Oh, no way. This is a Japanese ultimate rare. Uh, or OCG, sorry. Uh, wow. Actually, I know a lot of people don't like this rarity, but I love it. This is my favorite version of Prosperity. And we pulled it. That's insane. The be the second, I believe, most expensive. I think it's this over the collector's rare, the ultimates. Um, but for sure, the quarter century is the most desired pot. So this is insane. Oh, man. Oh, where's my little crappy penny sleeve? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> nice. Now that was huge. 
So just from that one mini box itself, we managed to get an ultimate rare, a collector's rare, and sorry, a 25th quarter century and a collector's rare. So we hit the bigger three. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Platinums. Uh, people prefer them over the old ones. I really don't care much, but these are my three preferred rarities. This is my favorite. And um, I know I already opened my other three boxes, but I just want to show you what else I got because I could not help myself. But we did get a quarter century uh, Pot of Desires. Tour Guide is awesome. And this is the Platinum Baron DeFlor. I do like the letters, but I'm not a fan of just... It just looks like a normal secret to me. I did get a uh, Ultimate Rare as well. Insane. And also for Lava Golem Ultimate Rare. Um, I think there was more. I just did not put them in the front because those are my bigger hits that I got. What else did I get? Oh, I also got a Collector Tour Guide. I kind of wish I saved these for the opening, but I'm sorry, guys. I could not have myself. My friend pulled a lot more... Oh, this was a platinum. I didn't even know I had a platinum of that. It's hard to tell. It's not. I know it's not just me. A few people on openings I've seen uh, uh, passed up a few as well. And I believe that was, prob that was probably it. Unless I passed up a platinum and didn't see it. But overall, I highly recommend these boxes. Uh, almost, let's see, I got four boxes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So almost every box had two to three uh, good hits. And every single one had... A, um, a quarter century or the ultimate rare so pretty good yeah oh i got three quarter centuries so i did not uh get four that is my bad but i did get the collector's rare from the one that didn't so thanks for watching guys let me down let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of these um i might check one more walmart tomorrow so stay tuned for that and we'll see if these start hitting shelves soon and um i would assume these aren't coming in single blisters if we're getting a mini box and just booster boxes. So that probably would be the only way to get singles from your um, local card source. So, hey, let me know in the comments. What is your the card you're looking for the most? Uh, mine was Prosperity. I'm very happy to get that. And uh, this was an awesome opening. I uh, might not do too much Yu-Gi-Oh! again. I don't know. Maybe just this, like, rarity collections. These are these are awesome. I really love this product. Uh, finally good to get some staples because I play some very poopy decks. I just play Flower Cardian. So if you just want to see Flower Cardians, let me know. A lot of people wouldn't, but it's hilarious. Flower Cardian FTK is funny. All right, see you on the next one, guys. Stay awesome.